Today's habitat tip is gonna talk about a great technique that we can use when we're faced with that challenge of trying to maintain the diversity and the structure that we want in our pollinator habitat projects. If you have a habitat project that's been around for a few years, you're not gonna surprise me at all if you tell me it's starting to be overtaken by grasses like this area right here. Smooth brome, Kentucky bluegrass fescue, that's natural succession, no surprise there. But if we want to maximize our pollinator and wildlife habitat benefits, we have to keep our grasses and our wildflowers in balance. We want to make sure that our habitat has areas of bare open ground like this for ground nesting bees, and so that pheasant and quail chicks can move through there and forage. And this habitat tip is going to combine two management techniques to give you great habitat. We're gonna combine prescribed fire followed by a grass-selected herbicide application to restore your habitat. Prior to spraying, a quick walk through this field lets us see that there's all kinds of milkweed, sunflower, penstemon, spiderwort, ironweed, rosinweed, asters, prairie clover, goldenrod, gay feathers, and all kinds of other wildflowers in here. Our management techniques are all designed to protect and enhance these wildflowers. So now come along with me and let's follow these management techniques and their results throughout one whole growing season. For this project, we sprayed the field using a UTV and a really nice sprayer here with a boom sprayer on it and a 50 gallon tank. And I know that this setup will cover about three acres when I'm spraying. So I wanna spray my field with a grass-selected herbicide called Clethodum at 14 ounces per acre. So I add 42 ounces of Clethodum to that tank. Then I need to have a surfactant, and I use crop oil and add four ounces of that to the tank. But the really secret weapon for me that has produced great results is to add two glugs, or about four ounces, of Dawn dish detergent to the tank. Dawn dish detergent is a non-ionic surfactant. If you don't know what that means, don't worry. Just know that it needs to be Dawn dish detergent. This field had a spring prescribed burn conducted on it 32 days before we sprayed because we want these grasses to be actively growing and about six to eight inches tall while we're spraying them. I travel four to six miles an hour while spraying, and my spray width is 16 and a half feet. And then I wanna make sure that the air temperature is 68 degrees Fahrenheit or warmer. As we follow the response to this set of management activities throughout one full growing season, we can begin to see the resurgence, abundance, and diversity of wildflower species coming back into the project. The cool season grasses that were starting to take over and lower the overall quality of our habitat project have been set back with the combination of prescribed fire and an herbicide application. This is a much better balance of grasses and wildflowers and one that produces significant wildlife benefits. The cherry on top of this project is that it absolutely looks stunning throughout the year and is the visual outcome that we hope for from pollinator habitat projects. We've come to the end of our journey of following this habitat project and its response to our management activities throughout one full growing season. I hope you enjoyed the journey. This is mid-September right in the very peak of our monarch butterfly migration. And this project is serving as a great fueling station to help get those monarch butterflies to central Mexico. And really the response that we got from our management activities was exactly what we wanted. A resurgence and an abundance of the wildflowers in here that give us the critical components of different size, shape, color, and diversity throughout the entire year. You should have three takeaways from today's habitat tip. One, perform a little bit of management on at least a portion of your project each and every year. Number two, don't wait until things like grasses have taken over and removed the diversity from your project 
to perform your management. If you do, it will take longer and be harder to accomplish your goals. And number three, think about combining management activities like prescribed fire with herbicide application for an even greater effect. Following those tips makes for great habitat.